In the case of Mozambique, we had political challenges, uh, managed the expectation. Fortunately, I didn't need to manage the problem of uh, the leadership. I had a wonderful leader, uh, President Shisano, who was a visionary and a transformer leader, a leader that liked to change for the better and support the Minister of Finance in that process of transformation. So I had to manage more the expectations of the people because people are very impatient. They like to see things improving every day and see results that will come two or three years from now, happening now. So political uh, pressure was one of, uh, of the challenges. The other pressure came from the parliament. The parliamentaries are politicians by profession and uh, we have to manage them also. As a Minister of Finance, you have to manage their own budget and you have to manage the budget of the sectors where they are more sympathetic. Sometimes they come with the personal agenda and the concerns and so on, and you have to balance. And I like this theme uh, about budgeting in the real world, because you can have all the theories, uh, but when you go to the reality, you need some tips. And the tips come from the experience. Uh, I learned during the process of reforms in Mozambique, reforming the public financial management uh, system. Uh, I had to have my own experience, but also account from the tips of other ministers that have, have passed through the same situation. And you have to look to the reality of your own case and try to see how you could use that inspiration not adapt it exactly as it is, but have as a source of inspiration in order to be open-minded to find the best solutions for each or a specific case. He is the one that uh, brings the dreams coming true. Because you have the other ministers, they have their own dreams, but they don't have the means to manage the dreams come true. So they come with their ideas, their proposals, their concerns. And the Minister of Finance has to have the capacity to listen, and listen in a very authentic manner. Be open-minded, Minister, because he's the one that can stop everything. He has all the means to stop it. He can allocate the budget, but not allocate the funds on time. He can allocate the funds, but create situations where the funds cannot be spent. So he's the one that helps the others to achieve the objectives. So he's the sentinel. He has to look to the situation. He should not wait for the colleagues ask for appointment. He knows which sectors are priority. He has to call them to ask if things are moving. It is not normal. Mr. is doing that. That's why the message I'm sending this message. From my experience, I would call the Minister of Health and say, let's sit next week. Let's see how things are in your ministry. Minister of Finance has to be a leader. can be just a manager. has to be a leader. Because if it's not a leader, he will not have the capacity to bring the others together with him in the process of transformation. If he's not a leader, he will be afraid of not of the making the concentration of responsibility. He will like to be the one deciding everything, giving the money directly to the executor. But he can delegate this to the colleagues, can delegate to the province, can delegate to the district, and make system of control. And this delegation of power doesn't happen one day. It follows the process of capacity building. You create, you put money, you create capacity. And you put more money, and you create capacity. And you delegate more and more to the basic level. If you don't do that, waiting for the capacity, it will not happen. Because the incentive to create capacity comes from the responsibility. Responsibility to, to, to do and to manage the resources. You can't say you recruit a teacher, but you have to put the money for him to pay the teacher. You can't say you build the classroom. You have to put the money for me to build the classroom. 
has to be someone that all the colleagues will say, okay, we don't like him because he's the Minister of Finance, but we like the way how he works. We like the way how he deals with us. And we like the way how he runs his own ministry.